Columbia Heights is one of D.C.'s most diverse neighborhoods and home to a growing population of Central American immigrants. Most arrive in the U.S. fleeing violence and extreme poverty, but determined to build a better life. Dedicated to helping them adapt and thrive in their new home is a local nonprofit organization, Garesin. What this organization does is help integrate immigrants, recent immigrants, into the new community, but also understand the underlying causes of why they had to come to, to this country in the first place. For Minor Campos, a Salvadorian immigrant, coming to this country was his only choice. From seeing what our families go through in our countries, all the poverty, that's what makes people like us come to the United States. Now, Mr. Campos seeks Garesin's help to obtain a work permit and driver's license, both critical for his job and his family. We need a driver's license to be able to get to work, to be able to work hard and earn the daily bread for our children. Garesin will help Mr. Campos through his application process, though the DMV system is already backed up and has several loopholes for undocumented immigrants, which for many Latinos raises a key political issue. Both the administration and Congress need to put in place policies to that truly protect people that are free in violence, because that is part of uh, the value system of the U.S. The Latino community now looks beyond Election Day when the president is set to announce his plan on immigration reform. BU News Service, Washington, D.C., I'm Noelia Valero.